everybody, you have found what to play next. We're bringing everything that's awesome in gaming. So this is Shadowrun Returns. We have been tracking down the Emerald City Killer, Emerald City Slasher, and right now we made it into the Brotherhood, which is exactly what it sounds like. Like, this sounds like a cult, and it is. Past the door is a short passage leading to the freight elevator. You hit the down button, and the elevator rumbles its descent. Past where the basement would be. Past where the parking garage would be. The door is open to a very different environment. So we found a back way in. I am always so proud when I find these secrets. Hold on one second. We are on... Um... All right, this is a second. Um, so I, I am always so proud of myself when I find these secret ways in. And we're going to hit them by surprise. I have my whole team with me. We're gonna try and take down my buddy Sam's twin. Um, she did just, she had it murdered. Um, she joined the Brotherhood, which is a cult. Had their mother exhumed and was selling her body parts. Like, it got real. Shadowrun is all about criminal organizations. D&D started to get played out, so they went cyberpunk with it way back before it was cool. And they decided to um, have mutations. Searching through the desk, you find a list of money transfers made by the Brotherhood. So you're searching for things like evidence, but also blackmail, etc. Because um, when the mutations happened, government wasn't as central. People, you know, they started to play favorites. Elves are considered, you know, higher beings by a lot of people, but people who mutated into trolls, even though they're stronger, even though they're good mechanics, etc., it just doesn't matter as much because they're ugly. You know, it's really interesting. Gosh darn it, I am point blanking this guy and nobody seems to care. Good follower. We're gonna get taken down by a follower for real. For this is happening. This is what you want me to do. Oh, there's another one. Drop him. Gotta move up. It's cool because it's turn based combat, but you operate a squad. Get some really interesting game mechanics going on. You can shoot your own people, which I have an unfortunate habit of doing, so I try not to um, shoot unless I have a clear path. I roll that net one a lot when it comes to my street sweeper. It's my weapon of choice in any game, so I'm surprised that I'm that bad with it. Gamer gods do not like me whipping that sucker around. You have friends from an earlier mission helping you out, but you also have mercenaries that you can hire. So that's really interesting to us. You can jack into the net, for instance, and it um, it tra it drops you into VR. So before VR was cool, we were um, doing this and you know experiencing that where you have these meta meeting room, etc. So it's just going to give me a sidebar to talk to her. The young elf woman is clearly shaken from being locked up and seeing her jailer killed in front of her. These people are insane. I've been a prisoner all night and I heard noises. It's a pretty nice close. Is there a word for you to relax? What kind of noises? So you can play the rogue. You can play, you know, the white knight. First it was chanting. Priests and acolytes have been going down that hole since they locked me up. And then it changed to screaming and something else. Something foul. We've got to get out of here. You've seen a woman here. You mean Jessica? She's here somewhere. She and my aunt are together. My aunt brought me here. She said the Brotherhood was just what I needed. That seems unlikely. That I could be part of something bigger than myself. But then it got weird. Well, you know, honey, cults do that. You'd expect people like this to be nice to you, you know? That's what they're all about. But this is different. They all started bowing to me. And that's when the chanting started. Then I really got scared. <gasps> got another cultist? Oh, it's Jessica. That's the twin. That's Sam's twin. Marie Louise, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? No, you're needed here. There's a hungry glint in Jessica's eyes. I'll bet. I won't be your sacrificial lamb, Jessica. My darling girl, you misunderstand. What we offer is eternal life. A chance to be a part of a new... Jessica suddenly notices you and roots pale in her throat. You're alive? You aim to put a woman in the ground, but you see the job through. It is an eternal life, but it'll do. So you say. I'm glad you're here. Truly I am. You've helped me more than you can know. Further open my already wide eyes. I thought I understood my feelings towards Sam. I thought I knew why I needed to put him and my old life behind me. But Sam represented so much more. 
world is sick, you see. Humanity is sick. And perhaps better than anyone, Sam embodied that sickness. He cared nothing for others. He barely cared for himself. Self-destruction. That was Sam's path, and it's humanity's path. If we don't make a change, if we don't embrace a new way of thinking, we must put each other first. It's a basis for my new family. Brotherhood's a cult. You sure you're not putting yourself first? Does your new family know how you treated your old one? Sam and my mother were anchors dragging me down with them into the gutter of human existence. But that part of my life has ended at the, bur at the burial. I'm free now, free to be uplifted by my new family. There's a new world coming, and it's beautiful, ordered, safe, unambiguous, a world where everyone knows their place. Imagine it, a world without chaos, selfishness, or other human failings. No one to betray you or hurt you or... You don't even sound human, lady, you're nuts. Jessica, you're not willing to help. Save your help for the week. I'm beyond such frailties. Soon I will transcend. First, I think it's time for you to meet my new family. Very good to make your family. I bet you they are. But I've read a lot of them. Whoa! What is that? So they're making monsters, too. Holy cow. True form worker. Creature makes a mangled sound of chittering and humor, human ang agony. Don't be afraid, darling girl. No one will hurt you. You are our queen. She locked us in, but I can get us out of here. Last night, they were holding me in the next room. The one with the computers. I jacked into one and was hacking your security system when I tripped the alarm and got caught. They threw me in that cell and disabled the jack points, but I can fix them. We'll help you fix the jack points. Look, I went to the best school in the country for matrix engineering. I know what I'm doing. They locked the nodes down when they caught me, but I put some code in before they did, so it, it has to be me that jacks in. Just hold them off, off and let me fix it, without intrusion countermeasures. I right, see it, I see it as a hobby, okay? Just trust me, and keep that thing away from me. How entertaining. I'm glad you weren't killed at the ceremony, jerk. It would be much more fun to watch you die. She's gonna try and hack the computers, and we are basically just gonna hold them off. Sounds good. Not enough ammo. I have to reload a lot. Get out! So yeah, congrats on him. She's got a lot of people in the team. chance to crit. That's actually a cleaner angle gun. Not by a lot, but it helps to chance your, uh, check your chance of critical hit. Because it's your line of sight. I apparently don't really... <laughs> my bruiser doesn't crit. Period. Oh, thank you so much. So, see how little I did there? That's exactly what I was aiming for. Why is it going around? Did it just hide? Oh, for real? Why do we do me like this? From the, you know, getting some of the grunts. Not very nice, but if I die, we all die. If one of them goes down, I can use a med kit. So I'll get behind the cover here. Okay, so I can take this thing out from far away. I was wondering. I got a decent size bed. But I don't want to face off you know, against more than one of them if I don't have to. You are a horrible shot and you might want to close. Try this one here. What is this? What did that do? Did I want to do that? Why is it attacking me? I didn't mean to touch it. Shoot. Every once in a while something is crap. That's why people like TTRPG is it has that aura of reality where you can actually hurt your own people. Or you can set up a trap and just get an effect that you were not originally in something. Just don't know that again. So I think I summoned a ghost and it's still the leash. It certainly wasn't what I was going to say. I wonder if I have any frag grenades or anything like that.
That's bad. Numbing poison. There, now you see them in their truest form. Now you see that they cannot die. I don't know what it is, but it's not right. Try these things. What in God's name have you done? I've given flesh to the immortal soul. I've unlocked many times. Best me. Things are giant bugs. Less chance you can still stop this. Why would I stop? I can see things so clearly now. A mind was opened to her when she called from beyond the veil. She warded my service in my face with great power. It could have been yours as well, Mary Louise. You were the host for our queen, but no matter. Here's another. Alright. Oh, and then we get to go into the matrix. Awesome. How are you back on your feet? What's the actual? Literally, like literally at all. That's good. Drop that. Alright, so they look like they're taken now. You definitely need a head dead. Air barrier, silence, coyote killer. We have her earth elemental. There we go, my kids. right here. This one. There we go. Let's go back to that. Ow! They're apparently going to just keep getting back up. I'm not sure it looks like... Oh, it is part of it. Okay. So she has to... Oh no, now I'm fighting more than one enemy. That is definitely not what I meant to do. Take that guy down. I can make a run for it, I'm not sure if I should. I tend to grind through these. Um, just because it's not that hard, you know? You can usually just kind of go. So this is what their internet looks like. The whole thing is set up with visuals. So you can actually see, you know, how you touch the security program and you're supposed to back off. She obviously knows that. So we are literally just holding down the fort here. That is interesting. Enough ammo. Immune? It's immune to bullets? Bullets are everything's only weakness. It's like a running joke. Oh, budge. Okay, so. Apparently we really value... What on earth? We're not able to hit them. It's actually immune to bullets. What the heck? You're inside the spirit. So I can pop this thing all I want. What will this do? Hold on. Air barrier of silence, coyote children. Not a lot I can do here. Alright, so now I have Apocalypse. Maybe you can take that. Apocalypse is horrifying. It's a spirit that can literally just turn on you at any time. Um, but it is a real bruiser, and it's apparently immune to that as well. I might just make a break for it and see if I can get to the data node because my people are. Just absolutely getting boned here. Oh, let me just waste some time in here. I might wind up having to do, yeah, have to do more than one playthrough because it's gonna boot me out. Alright. Not enough AP. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Link in the description below. Um, also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee delivered to your door. I'm a hacker, so I'm gonna jack in as well. So I'll put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. Don't know what to do besides just keep shooting. Oh, they did manifest down here so I can drop them. So the vicious cycle continues where it looks like I'm getting to know, but I'm not. Interesting conundrum, and they really do that to you in role playing, this sort of role playing, where they want you to stop and think really be disturbed by what they do. They try to get inside your head a lot. 
happens when you have non-player characters where they try to develop an aura, you know? Yeah, we're gonna keep fighting with this guy. I said he's a real bruiser. So she can jack back in. Not enough AP, I don't understand what they're trying to say to me. Oh wow, I got critted. Um, I'll spend there is KOFI by this chick of coffee and all make me smile. So I'm gonna jack in and so is she. Or if you want to do a more uh, Twitch style subscription, we did sign up for Patreon for that reason. Let's see, we got them both. Let's see if that helps any, you know? What else can I hit? What else is there? I'll go search in here and see if there's anything. Apparently not. So that's down there. Um, I am on Patreon. So if you do want to, you know, go that route, come back to spirit form, set it gets inside your head. We support the indie dev community a lot. We've been in gaming for literally ever, as you can see. Alright, so let's go through and just absolutely waste these guys and see what we can see. And you'll get a better perspective, you know, on gameplay, on game mechanics. See what you're into, see what you're good at, you know, what you like. And also what's going on in gaming. When these guys, you know, show up, they have to bring something to the table. So it's an interesting perspective that you, know, you have to show up with something. It's not something you see a whole lot. And it's going to pop us out to the real world where all we can do, like literally all we can do is do Let's see, exit entrance from what is past here. It does take me somewhere else. It's a maze. There's nothing here. Oh, wow, except like 12. There's a door control. That's apparently what I need to get to. Oh, wow. Marie Louise, I swear to God. It doesn't look like it has to be her. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call her on that. <laughs> She swore to me it had to be her. Let's just skip. Um, so how do I skip my turn? Any turn? You will not escape! Okay, so we are back off camera then. That's good. Alright, let's see. If I can get to the door control node. We might just want to run. <laughs> Did she reach it? Nothing. Oh my god, what on earth? And I'm gonna have to fight my way through this. They're definitely gonna drop me. I do try to die in every video, so smash subscribe, hit the bell. What that'll do is pop you up a thumbnail, and you'll be able to see what it is that we're working on, you know? Get a little bit of a um, sneak peek into what you're gonna be watching for the day. That's jam into that sort of video game we're going to skip to the next one and then we're doing an experiment so hit like um like i said we do a whole lot for the indie community so we do want to see you know what's the deal with um youtube and social media what's the deal with getting you know trailers up how does that affect marketing um what's a brand advocate what's an influencer and that sort of thing thank you for coming along for a ride we will definitely you know blow it up in the next one get the door open all that it's really doing is dropping my own matrix, so that should be pretty straightforward. We love you guys. We love that you're always along for riding with you next video.